Okay, guys, and welcome. And today, today's Thursday, which means it's time to talk about Peach Boy Riverside Episode 3. Now, here's the thing. The first episode got me rolling because I never would have expected a show like a title like Peach Boy Riverside. Again, for the title Peach Boy Riverside, I thought it was one of those romance, road comp thing. Like I said, I haven't seen a trailer at the time, but Looking at it, the first looking at the first episode, it was really bloody. Second episode gave us a little, gave us action, in, including seeing the Peach Boy himself, the debut of him. And now we're on episode three, and I gotta say, I like it's very it's a very good episode. It's very good. I'm not gonna sit there. I'm not gonna argue with you guys and say, oh, this episode was awesome. It was okay. Did it rush? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I said, I, I I haven't read the manga. I'm gonna say it again. I I haven't read the manga, so I didn't know nothing about Peach Boy Rivers. I don't I don't know nothing about it. And I was told that I was told by my friends that they skipped a lot. And looking at this, it says like chapter 18 and 19. Like I said, I haven't read it, so I don't know nothing about it. But I, like I said, I don't mind spoilers. This is one of those shows where it's like, you know what? I don't mind the spoilers. I don't mind. I don't mind. So if you guys want to post any comments about Peach Boy Riverside, they, like is it worth reading or is it not? You can post it on my comment page and I'll, and I'll probably will read it if I have time. If I have time, that is. But other than that, Episode 3, Peach Boy Riverside, just went into, like, a, a tournament arc. One of those tournament arcs that we're going to see on a regular basis, you know, just for the hell of it. But it's not that. It wasn't that. That wasn't really important. What really important about Peach Boy Riverside was the new characters that we get to see. We got a tall priest, a guy. Got a tall priest who looks like Arthur from, from Fire Force. You got one little girl who's the god of mass, who looks like the girl from Higarashi. I forgot her name, but... It's in the tip of my tongue. But yeah, you got the one who looked like Higarashi, for God's sake. And you got the boy named Todoroki. Todoroki! <laughs> but I'm going to get to him, though, because I got some funny things. I got something to say to him. But that's what this episode did. It just gave us new characters to see, introduce. And the ending, I got it. Kind of like a girlfriend, girlfriend type thing where it's like, who'd you side? Who'd you choose? This boy or this boy? But who am I saying? Without further ado, let's get right to it in episode three of Peach Boy Riverside. So we'd start off with just the tournament arc, okay, right into a gate, Hearthrone, our beloved warrior who lost his entire village and see see the destruction of that mask blue, look like one punch, one like the villains from One Punch Man, blows up blows up his army troops right in front of him. And again, they're just trying to make money. Like they're like they're on a journey and you gotta have money. And without without them having money, they don't have nothing. So he Hawthorne joined this tournament. Just a simple tournament where it's just like, there's nothing too big about it. It just fight to get a prize money. But the thing about episode three, I kind of like, so, kind of like, what? Was Sally get to introduce Makoto? And I'm like, that was quick. That was quick. I didn't, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I just didn't suspect that they were going to meet in episode three. That's, that's, that's where I kind of like, what the hell? What the hell? Like, again, I did not suspect them to meet episode three. I, I said before, like, uh, probably halfway through the episodes, like episode six or seven, maybe even five, that they were going to meet up. But an early, this was way too early, way too early. Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like the first episode gave us, gave us, I mean the first episode gave us so many questions about the peach the peach uh, eye ability. Uh questions about are they going to meet up one day, you know, uh, questions about development or whatnot. And and that's going to be later on, but in this episode it's just like wow. Wow. Three episodes and the peach boy and peach girl actually meet up. Man, that is some <laughs> I don't know if they rushing this I don't know if they're rushing this. I don't know if they got, if that's if that's their plan on it. But way to wait, way to kick off this. Way to kick off this. So again, I'm not good with names. I'm not good with names. Bear with me on this. I'm not. So I'm just gonna go by a description of the characters. 
First off, this priest guy who looks like he and he's and it was revealed at the end that he's a high level ogre. Anyway, Oni. Anyway, he where he looks like this author lookalike from Fire Force. Sitting down, you know, in this abandoned building, waiting for the god of mass to come up. And this little girl anywhere just who looked like to um uh look like a girl from um Higarashi when they cry. Uh, she's like, pick me up, pick me up. And they're like, oh, you're an ass to me to the God. Don't disrespect the God. I was surprised that she was a God, to be honest. I thought she was one of those, like, strong level Onis, like, surprises. But she's a freaking uh, God of mask. Like, just creative mask thing. And I'm like, wow. So, to make it any better, they summon, like, they did some kind of high council to summon all the Onis and just having a little meeting about the Peach Boy. Like, they got to kill this Peach Boy. It's kind of like, it's like the Dark Knight where the Joker comes and he's like, okay, what do you propose? Okay, it's simple. We kill, we kill the Peach Boy. Simple. That's all we got to do. We got to kill the Peach Boy. <laughs> it's like that. Simple. We kill the Batman. So it's, again, it's kind of like the Dark Knight type vibe when they have the meetings. But still, still, he kills, he tells the Onis the report about what really going on, about how they killed Matt, you know, the girl with the horn, with the, with the eye thing. Yeah, that. So he he falsely lied to them. Falsely lied to them and say, "Oh, they uh, Peach Boy killed her, but didn't." You know what I mean? They killed her. So they trying to pretend like this actually happened. And then you got this boy named Todoroki. This is why I kind of like this. That, this 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 was my reaction when he said Todoroki. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're telling me. That boy name is Todoroki? Todoroki! And I ain't talking about my hero. I ain't talking about my hero academia, Todoroki. Although I love Todoroki more than Midoriya. I don't know why. I love Todoroki more than Midoriya. But still. But still. Him? <laughs> but still him? He? Todoroki. I mean, this Todoroki? This Oni Todoroki? And not only that. Um, what's... How do I explain? How do I explain this? Once he's revealed... About what happened to the girl that he fell in love with, met the one with the horn eye ability. He went in that lightning killer mode. So it's like it's like this. It's like this boy is he took Todoroki's name from my hero, and then you amped it up. It's like okay, my, oh my bad, let me sum it up. So you got this boy who names Todoroki from my hero with a lightning user like Killua from Hunter Hunter. That's what we're looking at. This guy is a fully Killua. Oni, that's what it is. It's just looking at his lightning phase, his face killing a mode again. It's like Killua. And if you guys have seen Killua's lightning phase of destruction, Todoroki, not my hero, Todoroki and Peach Boy Riverside, he's got that killing Killua mentality in him. And I see that coming. And I saw it. So now he's going on a journey to kill that guy, kill Peach Boy himself. But something about him, he has his own way of, of controlling First time, the first time I've seen him, um, again, I'm not good with the name. Just bear with me on this. First time I've seen him, he was kind of the one that looked like Arthur from Fire Force, that guy. He looks so shady. I didn't believe, I don't believe this guy. He looks so shady. It's kind of like Eisen from Bleach. You look at Eisen first and you're like, something's not right. So I look at him, I'm like, something's not right. He is so, uh-uh. So you got this uh, God of Mass saying she's looking for someone trying to make friends with Hawthorne because Hawthorne's competing in the tournament in the next match. And um, it's that sinister look about making friends. And she literally, it's that face, that dark aura. And and I'm like, oh, you're going to kill this one? Wow. Now, I understand Hawthorne doesn't know humans like that. I mean, doesn't know which one's the only, but she is a, don't, don't underestimate her. That's all I'm going to say. Don't underestimate her. So she's in the tournament seating. She's in the she's in the not in the tournament, but she's in in the stands just watching them fight. Well, we got some other funny moments like that other nun girl who just uh wanted to get a money for the tournament though. Makoto uh saw Sally, and this is where the girlfriend girlfriend comes in play. This is where the girlfriend girlfriend comes in. So you got it's like the ending of it kinda with a cliffhanger like that, the ending kind of like, who would you portray? Like, look at this. On the one hand, this is Peach Boy. This is because this is the one that you've been looking for all these, all this time. 
Not even a rush episode. You rush all this time. After three episodes, you finally found them. So, like, would you join this side or would you join his side? The, 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 um, the, the, yeah, would you join him or him? Like, which side? You got to pick one. You got to pick up. You got to pick a side. And that, <laughs> I mean, why is Sally so hesitant to pick, to pick him? I mean, like, to pick, to pick Peach Boy because it's so obvious. This is the person you've been looking for. So why so why you hesitate to like pick him and don't choose him? Like, come on, Sally. What why why is it so hard to pick? That's all I'm saying. If 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 that if that's the person you're looking for, go for it. It's like why? Why? It's so obvious. Like it, it, you know what I mean? It's so obvious that like, it's you gotta pick this side. Like I said, I haven't read the manga. I don't know what's going on. But it was that. But I mean, by that I mean the way how that ended, it was just like what a way to make that cliffhanger so dramatic, so rom. It's kind of like those rom com dramatic scenes that just pick pick a pick a girl. You have this girl or this girl, just like in this one. Okay, come on, Sal, who you want, Peach Boy or the villain? Obviously, Peach Boy. So yeah, that's what I see. But like I said, episode three is good. Episode three was very good. I'm not saying it was great. It was very good. Now I get it. People are saying that it skipped a lot of chapters towards this and like i said i haven't read the manga i haven't read it so i don't mind right now i don't mind the spoilers i don't mind spoilers in this one i don't mind because i heard a lot of people have have seen this and a lot of people i mean read this and a lot of people know what's gonna what's going to expect so again i haven't seen it now at the first three episodes of this should i drop it i'm not gonna say no i'm not gonna drop this because Again, after watching three episodes of this, I'm I'm gonna suspect there's gonna be a lot of development for each character, especially Faru. That is something about that demi human, that rabbit demon, that, that that rabbit only, you know, something about that rabbit says that she's gonna develop than I thought. I mean, she's not just a rabbit girl, she's just a I mean it's not just a rabbit demon. She's she got some tricks up her sleeve. So I'm, I am looking forward to see where this goes. But again, after three episodes of this, I'm not going to stop watching this because this is one of those pacing moments where it's like, okay, it's three episodes. Let's see where the development comes in play. I think each character is going to have a development of their own. There will be some depths. There will be some developments going on, between, and especially Sally. So I'm, I'm, I am kind of looking forward to see where the journey of Peach Boy Riverside goes and see where how far this have gotten. So again, I'm not gonna s I'm not gonna bypass this. I'm gonna continue on watching this and give you guys the reviews of this every week as possible. But like I said, now the whole and again uh, again I don't know where the plot is gonna be now. Now that now that he now that Sally found Peach Boy, now that he found the boy that he was looking for, I don't know in the direction of this. But I like to see where this is I like to see where this is going. So let's see how that works. So again, this very good episode. I look forward for more developments and more plot devices and everything else is going to be added towards next week's episode of Peach Boy Riverside. The decision, the final, the final decision will be made next week, and we'll see how that works. So I look forward for the, I look forward for next week of Peach Boy Riverside, and I hope you will.